All right, what is up, guys? This is Corb, and we're starting off with a couple of phoenixes here with Rhino reinforcements. And this is one of my favorite, um, favorite little starting compositions to kind of pop off with, man. Having phoenixes to protect against most of the units, at least, that counter your rhinos just feels so, so good. Feels so, so good. So, yeah. Looks like we're going to kind of get owned here on this first round. This is too many fangs here for these poor little phoenixes to deal with. Kind of same story over here on this side. I mean, we're doing pretty decent damage with them. I can't complain too hard. Is it winnable over here, I wonder? Go, go, go! So I think this phoenix will kill those four fangs. But there's just a whole lot more guys uh, after the fact. Hopefully he's just going to farm a good amount of experience. That's all we can really hope for at this point. Snipes a tank. Okay, it is just going to kind of be the long loss though. And down it goes. All right, lovely. The power of editing. Slice that out for you guys. So, yeah. I'm considering just going a whole bunch of uh, backlights here. Oh, my God. Or oh, strike specialist. Oh, bro. We have to go strike specialist, man. We actually have to. I can just drop, like, a couple of rhinos here next round. And then every single round after that, too. Oh my god, dude, that is gonna be okay. This is officially gonna be a good game. For right now, however, I do think I've gotta kind of uh gotta kinda of double down a little bit on just clearing his guys uh, a little bit faster. We need a little bit more firepower over here, man. So I guess I'm gonna grab an arc light, I'm gonna grab some stormies as well. These guys have fantastic range. And I gotta place these storm callers such that his Mustangs will connect with these guys. I've got to kind of make sure that the Mustangs are stopping at around the time they come into range with the Storm Calls. So if the Storm Calls move forwards, these guys come down. Yeah, there's lots of equations going off in my head right now, but I think that this will probably about do it. Something like that. Uh, and I guess I'll just drop an extra little acolyte over here on the side. Something like so. Um, yeah, I just want to make sure I don't get kind of like dunked on this side. So I guess we'll slam a missile there as well. He's also dropping a rocket. So I guess it's kind of good that I reinforced a bit extra over here. It's going to take out most of my boys. Which feels kind of rough. The missile will hopefully hit here. Yes. Okay, that's good. I mean, I don't know if it's enough to win. Hopefully the storm callers can, uh, can boost us over there. This Acolyte is also doing work. It looks like we're going to take the win over here, too. Okay, we should be good, man. Look at how quick those Storm Callers just one-shot those guys. Dude, Storm Callers so good. I'm finally starting to rate them. Okay, Rhino time, boys. Rhino time. Um, How are we going to do this, man? How are we going to do this? Okay, I think I'm going to pick up an Anti-Deference module. And slam these guys down over here and if I put him in front that means I have room behind him to load in more guys as well so I think we do that I could plonk him on this side even but I kind of want him to snowball out of control so I think we do that do I just go absolutely balls deep on the right <laughs> okay maybe not no that, that's just a bit stupid we won't go too hard on the rhinos but I'm gonna go pretty, uh, pretty, pretty ham, you know? So if we do, like, something like this, get these guys, like, keyed in over here. Uh, pick up some more of these gods over this way. And as for the giant unit that we're going to unlock, um, I think I want to go overlords. Because I'm, yeah, I'm going to be slamming overlords here pretty soon, man. Okay, he actually planted some mustangs over here as well. I mean, this rhino isn't going to give a damn about these mustangs. It should shred them pretty easily. This one I'm not so sure about. I wonder how we're going to do over here now. Oh my god. Oh my god, yeah, this rhino is also going to live. That's actually huge, man. That's massive. Okay, so, awesome. Sick. Really good. Oh my god, man, this Rhino flank is huge, actually. They're both getting really, really solid experience right now. I actually don't want these guys to die yet. I'm really hoping that these Rhinos get a building kill over here. 
That would be really nice. It's just an extra chunk of XP here. No, don't all die. Nice. Oh, did the Phoenix steal it? The Phoenix killed Soul, man. God damn it. Okay. Now, my hope is, is that this guy now buys a hacker and tries to hack the level 2 Rhino, except it's immune to control. Because <laughs> it would just be hilarious. Uh, intensive training. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, um, okay. We're just going to get an Overlord down over here. And I guess it can just be, like, kind of behind this Rhino. That's fine. Do I just level him up again? Oh, my God. I'm going to do it. Oh, my. It's just done. It's done, man. Um, we could also just give them Whirlwind. I don't know. Whirlwind versus Self-Destruct. Kind of a tough one. Then again, I've got a lot of guys down here to upgrade. Maybe I should just stop being foolish and just actually upgrade stuff a little. That would also be wise. Um, yeah. We'll drop missile around here again. Let's see how he responds over here on this side, man. Oh my god, that's so many wasps to did. Okay, hopefully the Overlord can handle these guys. Hopefully they aggro onto the Rhino, which is my plan. I just want them to hit the goddamn Rhino, man. It looks like they're both aggro onto the Rhino. And as long as that's the case... The Overlord should be able to chunk them. Now, again, we do have Strike Specialist in order to make this uh, viable. So this thing is going to load in very, very quickly. And they're all hitting a level 3 Rhino. That's good news for us. Nice. And the Overlord is going to get straight to chunking. Go, 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 go. Take him out, take him out. How are we even doing over here, man? How are we doing okay? I think we're going to win over here too, you know. Rhino doesn't give a shit. It's just tanking everything, dude. That's why you put the Rhino in front, you know? So you can kind of sneak in some uh, some big guys behind him. It's huge. It's huge. Missiles coming down. Lovely. So we did lose one of our poor little Rhinos. Oh, my God. Flanking Rhinos, boys. Flanking Rhinos. Okay. Now, I think we just push for the win. Um, so we pick up, like, Orbital Bombard. Um, we could also pick up uh, Healing here. We could also pick up Fort on a Mission. Hmm. Okay. Okay. It's decided. So we're going to pick up Fort on a Mission here. We're going to slam missiles down, like, here-ish. Because, I mean, he's bound to respond with a bunch of stuff now. Surely to God, you know? So we do that. Going to buy a couple of storm callers, and we're going to exploit a mistake on his part here. Which is, his units are actually too far back to take aggro from the storm caller, and they're just going to shoot his building and knock that out instantly. Um, Yeah. That's a big-ass mistake. <laughs> Don't make that mistake in your games, you know? Uh, yeah. And so I guess on top of that, we'll also just slam some, uh, some some rockets over here just to sort of protect these guys a little. Something like that. Curious to see how he's going to react over here. We do Again, fought on a mission on the Overlord here is huge. It's going to provide 50% damage mitigation to these Rhinos and the Overlord. At least I think it affects the Overlord as well. Let's see what goes down, man. Okay, he actually picked up a couple of snipers, man. Okay, the fort on a mission is going to come in big. <laughs> the storm callers take out his base instantly. And you know what, boys? I think that that is Bree Bree. I think this guy is out for the count. There goes the next building. <laughs> oh, dude. See, this is a perfect operation. I'm not going to be like, oh, actually, I'm not going to go out there and say, you know, Oh, this was all part of my plan, Lamau. I'm such a uh, such a military mastermind. But it does bear mentioning that if you can get into a situation where you're forcing your opponent to react every single turn that you possibly can, and they're just reacting to what you're doing, you know, and you're throwing a curveball every single turn like that and just keep on the back foot, works pretty damn good. So, hey, this is going to be a short one, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. These goddamn cheesy-ass strategies 
working out pretty good. Use them in your own games. They work 100% of the time, sometimes. Thanks for stopping by. Enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll catch up with you guys to a tad bit later.